Hey guys, good morning and welcome to today's uh, predictions. Of course, I mean, yesterday was really, really good. And, and I mean, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you join our Telegram channel. It's pinned in the comment section. We try to win games of football on a daily or regular basis. Yesterday, we provided three tickets, two plus odds. Um, on each of the first two tickets and then we had 12 plus odds on the third ticket and for the third ticket all we needed was for chelsea yeah. women to do um just an additional goal but then uh, the game ended without a goal and it is what it is so but the first two tickets delivered and i'm, I'm sure a lot of you got on those uh two tickets so let me know in the comment section if you were successful, if you edited and won more than the four plus odds. As I said, this is a period that requires a lot of flexibility and innovation when thinking of um, how to approach matches. So um, certain market may not work during this period, like the um, double chance market, which is a market that we are so good with. So we have to explore other markets. And as I usually said, there are well over 89 betting markets for each game. So it's really on us to think deeply about which market will be practical for every game. And today we have another two odds based on the home or away team to win to new. And, you know, let's hope for the best. So the first game here is from the, is a friendly game involving Azerbaijan and Bulgaria. Well, when you look at Azerbaijan, they're a good team, right? Uh, they've only lost twice in their last five matches. Then you take a look at Bulgaria. Um, Bulgaria hasn't been in any good form. Bulgaria hasn't won a single game in his last five away matches. And of course, uh, the last time Azerbaijan and Bulgaria met, uh, Azerbaijan did not lose without scoring a goal. And that sets a very good premise for our prediction. And what we are saying is that the away team will not win to nil. So what we are basically saying is we do not expect Bulgaria to come to Azerbaijan's home and beat them. Two goes to zero, three goes to zero, one goes to zero. No. Even if Bulgaria is to win, Azerbaijan is going to get a goal for sure. Or Azerbaijan is going to win. So I'm just going to explain for those who may not know the context of the um, a, a home or away team to win to nil. So your win, your bet wins. For example, I'm just going to use these two teams. For example, your bet wins if the game finishes in both teams to score, or if Azerbaijan wins or draws. So the odd. For the away team not to win to nil is priced at 1.19. The next game is another friendly game involving uh, Montenegro and North Macedonia. Montenegro is in such excellent form. So five matches, four wins, and just one loss. Uh, you expand again, right? And you realize that more often than not, even when they lose, they usually get one or two goals back. But then you look at the quality of teams they've lost to Czech Republic, a top, top team, but they were able to, uh, they were able to get a goal. Uh, Serbia is also a top team. Finland is also a top team. But North Macedonia is not necessarily a strong team, right? Uh, Montenegro is way stronger than North Macedonia. As you can see, North Macedonia has only won one game in five away games. Not good enough. And they are head-to-head. Last time they met shows that Montenegro was able to beat North Macedonia. So what are we driving at? What we are driving at is we do not expect North Macedonia to score or beat Montenegro without Montenegro getting a goal or a couple of goals back. That's the implication and what we are trying to say. So what that simply implies is that even if Montenegro was to lose, right, they would lose without getting a goal back. That's 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 basically the long and short of this. They won't lose without getting a goal back. So it's for this reason that we are saying that 
uh, we are predicting a way team to win to nil. No, we are saying that the away team, which in this case is not Macedonia, will not win to nil. And the odd for this to happen is 1.18. The next fixture is a friendly game as well, involving Cape Verde and Equatorial Guinea. When you look at Cape Verde, this uh, Cape Verde team is, is a team that is equally in very solid form. As you can see, they haven't, they've only lost one game, right? They've only lost one game in five matches. Equatorial Guinea is equally strong, but then the Cape Verde team is stronger. When you expand further, you see that even when Cape Verde loses, they always pull a goal back every single time. They always score a goal. And head to head shows that Cape Verde has beaten this um, Equatorial Guinea team before in a World Cup uh, qualifying match. So even though it's going to be played in a neutral location, Cape Verde has better players. They have um, a, a more solid team, a team that can deliver in 90 minutes. So what we are predicting is simple. What we are predicting for this fixture is that the away team, which in this case is, is Equatorial Guinea, is not going to beat Cape Verde without Cape Verde getting a goal back. So we are basically saying that the away team will not beat Equatorial Guinea. The away team will not beat Cape Verde to nil. So the prediction is a away team to win to nil, no. And the odd is 1.11. The final fixture is from the France national. It's a game involving Versailles and New York. So when you look at the away team, this is a team that has won three times, lost once, and drawn once. You then compare with the home team. The home team has not won a single game in five matches. You keep expanding. And for the away team, one thing you realize is that when you expand to 10 games, you realize that even when they lose, they tend to get one or two goals back. It's important we check their standings. When you check their standings, one thing you see is that the away team is positioned to three points today. We we'll put them in a very good position to challenge for the title. And they wouldn't want to miss out on this opportunity. You compare with the home team that is position 11, they have nothing to fight for. So the point I'm trying to make is that the away team is clearly in better form, and a better form and better shape than the home team. So we are saying, and a couple will define that the home team hasn't won a single game in its last five matches. So we are saying that even if the home team were to beat the away team, they will not win them to nil. So the prediction is the home team to win to nil is no. So we don't expect the home team to beat the away team, which is Niot, a team on position two, without Niot getting a goal or a couple of goals in. So the, the prediction for the home team to win to nil is no, and the odd is 1.20. So these are the matches we have for you. We have the booking code. For your benefit, it's loading. Please don't tell me book, uh, no booking code. It's loading. You guys, you see it here. Yeah, it's here. So that is it. It's correct. The codes are correct. So enjoy your day and wait for our subsequent videos.